Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches. We'll be on the chart, and today is Saturday, September 6, 2014, and this is Technical Analysis of the Stock Market Today, Weekend Edition. All right, we're going to start off looking at the Dow Industrials. The Dow was up almost 68 points on Friday, closed right at the high, as did the SPX. And I'll, we'll check the others here in a minute. But yeah, right at the high, came down, like sell-off mode reversed, where it came right back up. We are still riding above the 10 exponential moving average, 10-day. So it's um, continuing to push. Little bit of divergence showing there. Let me look at the little bit here, but again, this you know it hasn't turned, it hasn't made a point. So, um, but it's very very slight. Let's take a look at the weekly. A little bit of divergence showing up again. We're we're not we haven't really pushed strongly to new highs at this point. Uh, you know, kind of a doji bar in here. And the range, as you can see, it's more evident here on the weekly bar uh, that uh, the high-low is almost exactly the same high-low as the previous week. So we've got a little bit of sideways action going on, consolidation going on. Take a look at the XPX. And again, it closed on the high, just like the Dow. Uh, not pushing to any kind of high here. Is this... Um, yeah, I didn't look at the news and, and some of the, you know, pay attention, but it looks like another all-time high close in terms of the way it closed. Um, the weekly chart. That's where we're getting a little more divergence on the weekly chart. We're showing it clearly. Uh, you can see it here. See how the RSI has not pushed to a new high uh, like the stock, like the index has. And DI plus... Yeah, minus. This is exactly the reading right here is 28, and the reading right here is 28. <clears throat> and so we got a little doji bar in here too. So on a weekly basis, yes, it did close above. Um, you know, at another closing high, I believe 2007 versus 2003. Yes. Okay, and then uh, the next one is the Nasdaq. NASDAQ closed on its high. So all three major markets closed right on the high for the day. Uh, 83 are very, very close to it, fractionally off. Uh, we've pulled back, but then the NASDAQ, you know, it closed above the 10. So again, it's continuing to ride above the 10. Uh, this is the next target line I've got in here at 46.65. Divergence, nothing dramatic jumping out. I mean, we kind of got to wait. Do you not getting it here? Uh, look on the weekly. And let's see, the weekly. We're getting some divergence again, just like on the S&P 500. The, you know, we are getting divergence here on the weekly. That's a lot clearer. Uh, you're not seeing it on DI+. Plus. But you're seeing on demand in here, and then notice the the volume drop off uh, with this last move up. That's very suspect. New York Composite also closed on its high or very close to it, and um, you know not getting confirmation on the on the um, on the RSI on a daily basis. Again, I think we're in a fifth minor you know wave up here trying to push. And uh, the weekly chart, we did not close. Let's see, the high here was 11.10472, and we are not there. So we did not push to new highs. So we're not sitting at new highs like uh, the S&P. And uh, let's see, that's the that's the weekly. Let's take a look now at the. Um, Russell 2000, I think, is what I'm looking for. I'm not sure why that wasn't there. The Russell, again, all the markets closed right at the high. Um, the high is 1170.37, closed 1170.13. Um, let's see. So we pulled back down a little bit in here. Let's take a look at the indicators. And yeah, based on the way this indicator looks, we're going to have a down day on Monday. Get this little fish hook counter, counter move type thing. Um, some divergence again. We talked about this, I think, on uh, 
Wednesday night that I was seeing some divergence in here and sure enough this is sold off um, and let's see on a weekly basis yeah not showing us a whole much it, it whole, a whole lot more the out it's an outside bout bar you can see versus the previous week slightly it went slightly lower but then the the body of this is not engulfing it's not a bull it's not extremely bearish like this one was okay so we'll just have to watch to see whether or not this is a, a turning point or not for the russell 2000 go back to the daily i mean it uh You know, it's closed back above the 10, 10 day moving average. So here it was closing, let's see, the 10 day was 1167.59. It closed fractionally below it, so basically right at it, and then now it's closed back above it. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see if the Russell 2000 comes bouncing back up and takes out this high up in here and starts to push again. Uh, really wasn't expecting that. Expect was expecting this to be a counter trend move and this to head back on down, but uh, we'll have to watch that. All right, that's it for the markets, and let's take a look at the indicators, the, the indices. I mean, that's it for the indices. Take a look at the indicators. Uh, let's see, short term trading index. It is the 10 day. The blue line is at 0.94, so we're inching back down. The VIX. Okay, where are you? There it is. The VIX came back down on, of course, mark because the market's up. The you know the VIX came back down, and uh, again the blue line, the 10-day has not crossed above the the uh, 21. Notice how 21 is coming down strongly, so that could happen maybe in the next couple of days. So we'll have to watch that. Uh, usually, I have not seen a big move happen uh, unless you've got the 10 crossed above that 21. Okay, let's see. High low index. There we go. High low index has pulled back dramatically the last couple of days. And actually the the number over here, 61 new highs exceeding new lows. That's the lowest number since August 13. So lowest number in a little over three weeks. So that's a pretty good little snap back down. Uh, we'll see if we get the 10 breaking down below this and we start to break down again or if that's just a you know one day anomaly we'll see and I'll mention right now I don't have the in front of me but the um, the 10 day equity put to call ratio on the CBOE is 0.61 so we're not at an extreme reading on that at this point all right now let's take a look at some of the ETFs that we've got here I'm going to look at the um, HYG. Let's see, where is it? Well, um, I must be missing it for some reason. I know we got that's the weekly. And I am not. Well, let me let me pull it up. I'm just for some reason I thought we had. Uh, oh, here we go. It's right above it. Gosh. Anyway, it's pulled back down dramatically here. And so that this is kind of like the risk off, you know, uh, risk on, risk off. Uh, high yield bonds are dropping. And so uh, the, the big thing that's clear to me when I when I see this, let's go back to the you know, go to that weekly. Um, is remember, I talked about this a few weeks ago. When you see this lower high that's occurring when yet the market, uh, like say the SPX is on a weekly basis, is pushed to new highs like this, and the, you know, the, H, the, the, uh, the high yield has not, uh, that's a uh, bearish divergence in my opinion. Okay, let's take a look at the semiconductors. So the weekly jumps out at, and here we go, should be right above it. I opened it up, continued to push, closed right on its high. I mean, this move, they just they just don't want to roll over. They don't want to uh, to die. They just continue pushing and pushing. So that's that's bullish, and there's no divergence showing up on the RSI. Now, I'll tell you, though, that where I did see a little bit of divergence was on the SMH weekly, 
that on this move here, we're getting divergence on the RSI and DI plus and the demand index. So on the weekly chart, it's showing up. And uh, this move, you can see the see how the bar is. This is interesting. See how the bar is wider, then it narrows, then narrow, then narrower. Uh, whenever it starts to do that, I always get suspicious that a turn's coming. Okay, because it's getting more and more compressed. Uh, so that'll be interesting to watch to see. All right, now let's look at the XHB, the housing. If I can find it in my list. Home builders. There we go. So the home builders in the last week have done nothing but pull back down. They started trading a couple of days below the 10, but we didn't get confirmation. In other words, it didn't break down below the low of that day. So it's um, it's still holding in here. The 21's rising on a pretty nice basis, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether we continue to break down. We are in this lower lows, lower highs mode, and it, that is clear, much clearer on a weekly chart. Right here, you can see right here. I mean, just it just looks like it's trying to roll down. Now, it could break the pattern. It could, uh, uh, you know, we'll just have to see. But right now, you got to say, okay, it's in a slightly downtrending pattern. And the last uh, ETF we're going to take a look at today is the uh, the financial select sector financial uh, index. And um, you know, this closed on its high. It's continued to had a nice move up in here. It's staying above the ten. It's continuing to trend. On a daily basis, but we're running into a little bit of, uh, of divergence here on the RSI, a little bit here on the demand index. And let's see, XLF weekly. Yeah, I mean, look at this channel that it's been in, just bouncing along the channel last, you know, over the last year. And then over the line here, we're, we're getting divergence in here. We, and we started to get it like between this point and this point. Um, and we still have it. And then here, this, this little move, this last little leg has not gone to a new high. And that's on the demand index. It's clear there. It broke a little bit above the um, DI plus. And on the RSI, it is not. Okay, so, but I, I rather... You know, this is clear, but I like seeing it more when it's in the oversold or overbought territory or oversold for divergence. But still, I mean, it is divergence showing up. So, all right, that's the snapshot of the markets today. Uh, looking at everything, we'll, uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with um, trade ideas. We'll take a look at that, look at what we got in this week. And uh, I'll, I haven't looked at all the stocks yet, so I'll take a look at them, see if there's anything else I see for, for the coming week. And we'll go from there. So um, if you like this video and it found it beneficial, please share it on social media. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You can uh, get access to the Trade Ideas webpage. And if you're viewing this anywhere else but on my website, head on over to the website. Uh, and there's a bunch of things to check out over there and, uh, and join the tribe. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Have a great weekend, everyone.